Welcome back to Physiology on Catalyst University. My name is Kevin Tokoff. Please make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel for future videos and notifications. In this video, we're going to be discussing something called the carnitine shuttle, which is going to be sort of an indirect way that the cell can get an ACL-CoA from the cytoplasm or the cytosol of the cell all the way into the mitochondrial matrix which is where beta oxidation occurs. And remember that beta oxidation is a pathway where these fatty acids, which have been converted to acyl-CoAs, can be metabolized to generate a lot of energy, particularly from acetyl-CoA, NADH, and FADH2. Now to start off with, we have a fatty acid here inside the cell. Now the fatty acid came across the plasma membrane, which is not shown here, and immediately the fatty acid is connected to, or ligated to, a coenzyme A, which we abbreviate as CoA. This is necessary because fatty acids are hydrophobic molecules, and if you let them just stay as they are inside of a cell, they'll congeal and form basically micelles, or just big fat droplets, which we don't necessarily want. Coenzyme A is a very water-soluble group, and so attachment of coenzyme A to the fatty acid makes this whole compound more water-soluble and prevents them from congealing together. So the enzyme, remember, that adds this coenzyme A is fatty acyl-CoA synthetase, and so it converts a fatty acid into its derivative acyl-CoA. Now, getting this acyl-CoA from the cytoplasm into the matrix of the mitochondria is easier said than done. Because remember, the mitochondria all have two membranes. They have an outer mitochondrial membrane, or OMM, and they have an inner mitochondrial membrane, IMM, and then a space between the two membranes called the intermembrane space. So somehow you're going to have to get this ACL-CoA from the cytoplasm across the OMM, the outer membrane, through the inner membrane space, through the inner membrane, and then ultimately into the matrix. And it turns out that it actually involves swapping out this coenzyme A for a different functional group, and that's called carnitine. So carnitine I have here in red. So in the outer mitochondrial membrane, but facing the cytoplasm, there's an enzyme called carnitine ACL transferase 1, or carnitine palmitoyl transferase 1, usually abbreviated CPT1 or CAT1. Okay. What this enzyme does is while the acyl-CoA is still in the cytoplasm, it basically substitutes the coenzyme A for carnitine. And so instead of now having an acyl-CoA, we now have an acyl-carnitine. The reason this is necessary is the acyl-CoA cannot actually cross the outer mitochondrial membrane, but acyl-carnitines can. So this acyl-carnitine is just a carnitine derivative of the original fatty acid. So if we had a 16 carbon fatty acid, we'd have a 16 carbon fatty group bound to carnitine. And this acyl carnitine can then cross the outer mitochondrial membrane via simple diffusion. It just moves through the membrane and now it's in the intermembrane space. Now in the inner mitochondrial membrane but facing the inner membrane space, there's a protein called acyl carnitine translocase. Acyl carnitine translocase basically just moves acyl carnitine from the inner membrane space into the mitochondrial matrix. And so now that acyl carnitine is in the matrix, it really doesn't do us any good because this cannot be beta oxidized. In order to enter beta oxidation, it has to be in its original form, which is the acyl CoA form, meaning bound to coenzyme A. So we have a homologue of the original carnitine acyl transferase called carnitine acyl transferase 2, or CPT2, or CAT2. And what this enzyme does is reverses the original reaction. So it takes the acyl carnitine and converts it back to acyl coenzyme A. So basically it swaps out the carnitine for coenzyme A. And now we have the original ACL-CoA that we had on the cytoplasmic side. And so now this ACL-CoA can enter the pathway of beta oxidation that we discussed in a previous video. Okay? So the carnitine shuttle, to put it simply, is basically an indirect method of moving this ACL-CoA from the cytoplasm through three things, through the outer mitochondrial membrane, intermembrane space, and inner mitochondrial membrane, 
into the matrix of the mitochondria where beta oxidation can occur. The reason it's indirect is because we don't just simply take the ACL-CoA and move it through, we actually have to swap out its functional group with carnitine, move that through, and then swap out the carnitine back with coenzyme A. And then that gets us into the proper compartment where beta oxidation occurs. Okay, so hopefully this video made sense to you. Please make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel for future videos and notifications. Thank you.